What's up guys, my name is Armand. Welcome to CarSharp. Here we have the CarSharp McLaren 650S Spider. I'm gonna do a complete walk around of the outside, inside, show you guys all the options it has, and then show, uh, give it some startup sound and revs. So here it is starting from the side. So you can see that the wheels are actually a gunmetal gray. They're not a silver like they normally come on the 650S. Um, basically we got them painted because I feel that the gunmetal gray with the orange just sets it off really well, especially with all the carbon accents around, um, such as here on the wind mirror and everything. You can see that it's all like a grayish color, so it complements it really well. Um, so going from the side here, so they have the carbon fiber door sills here. Um, they come, this is an extra option, I believe it's like a $1,500 option. Don't quote me on it though, I could be wrong. And then coming on the back here, the also, it also has the carbon fiber rear diffuser slash bumper. I don't know what it, exactly it's called, but um, it's letting it focus there. Yeah, so that's all carbon fiber, so that's an option. And then it also has the McLaren Sports Exhaust option, which I'll show you the sound of in a little bit. So just do another walk around of it here. What I really like about the 650s, the 650S Spider, is the fact that the top is actually a hard top convertible. So when it's up, you can't even tell that it's a convertible, really. The coupe and the convertible look the same when the top is up. The windows and are tinted. These are 20% tints here. It looks a lot darker because the inside of the cabin is black and it's also so dark on the inside because the cabin is so small that it makes the outside tint actually look darker. And then the windshield here is tinted to 35%. Um, I think it just gives it more of a sleeker look. So one thing that I actually wanted to point out that I don't like that McLaren does is they have the body of the actual car itself sitting. So pretend like, imagine when the door is closed, this part of the car, this is the paint and stuff, is actually like right above the street. So all that grime, dirt, and rocks that it kicks up hits the underside of the door here and it causes all these scratches and stuff. So I can get a lot of this off with the rag, but there is a lot of nicks and scratches like right here, for example. I don't know if it's going to focus or not, but um, if it doesn't, it's okay, but basically it's a lot of nicks and just dents and dings from all the rocks and stuff. I wish they came up with a better design with that. So here is the interior. So it's just, it's the black Alcantara interior. Um, it doesn't have the interior carbon fiber option on the steering wheel in the center. I wish it did have that. I think it looks a lot better. Um, but it's okay and including here the carbon fiber interior package all of this would turn to carbon fiber too which I think would match the door sill here or the side of the door sorry not the door sill and then because this is all carbon fiber and if you go back here this entire area is all carbon fiber um, so then here it has all the matching orange stitching which I think sets it off really well including on the steering wheel there Don't mind my GoPro. So on the side of the door here, you have four buttons when you lift it up. Um, so this one, what it does is when you click it, and then you click this arrow up, and you hold it, it lifts up that flap that comes up when you first put up the hood, and then that's it. So it doesn't put the whole top down, it just opens up this part. Why do you want this open? I'm not really sure, but by looking at it, I'm gonna guess that 
maybe you can put a couple extra bags of groceries when you go to the grocery store. I'm just kidding, but yeah, maybe you can throw like extra things in there. It doesn't look like it has a ton of space, but it's better than nothing. So then you basically just come here, hold this, and it goes straight back down. This button here opens the, I don't know if you can call it the engine bonnet. Yeah, it technically is, but basically just press it. That pops open. You come here and you flip it up. One thing that I find interesting about the McLarens in general is they call their coolant water. They don't call it like an engine coolant or anything. They just call it water. I'll show you guys some revs and what the sport exhaust sounds like. So essentially, every time I get into the car and start it, it starts with active mode off. So the first thing I do is I turn this on. So it's really confusing because it seems as if it's on because the active, the word active is lit up, but it's actually not. When that halo in every, the orange halo across all three of these knobs are lit up, that means that the active is on. So when active is on, that's when you can control like the handling and the powertrain and whatnot of the car. Um, handling basically just stiffens up the suspension depending on what mode you go in. So track is the stiffest mode, same with the roll, the um, how much it rolls or I, what you could say is it, how much it dips when you turn. Um, so normal is the least extreme, track is the most rough and sporty so minimal roll and very rough ride. Powertrain essentially is the um, shift times and how the throttle response and whatnot. The car doesn't actually have a button called park, so what you what you do is, yeah, this is also really annoying, is every time you get into the car for the first time, you have to readjust your seat again because it keeps going back to the same, um, same spot, the preset, which is all the way back. I should probably f figure that out. So just to put it in drive, you click D, push this down, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching, and uh, hope to see you next video.